What's up YouTube? Well, a happy Valentine's Day to you out there and a happy Valentine's Day to the one and only sweet heart of my life, Brittany Bratton. Now I'm going to tell you our story, like I've probably done a few times, but for, for those of you who haven't heard my story, here's my story. So me and Brit, so Brittany and I, um, have talked before we started dating. Alright, I'm going to be honest. I didn't just start talking to Brittany out of nowhere. And I didn't meet her first. What we did was a friend of hers called Haley said, um, transferred to my high school, which was seven miles away from the school that Brittany went to. And they went to high school the year before and they became really good friends. So what happened was I was a sophomore in high school and then Haley and I were talking and hanging out all the time. Haley and I had PE class together. And 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 what Haley did was she told me that she was going to tell Brittany about me and then she was going to tell me about Brittany. So Brittany um was told about me and she wanted to go out with me. She said I really want to go out with you. And I said, and I was like shocked because no one in their life had liked me like that. I mean, just like that without me asking them out. She wanted to go out with me. And her ex-boyfriend is an asshole. Her ex-boyfriend Isaac is an asshole to her. And so what me and, what me and Haley did, um, I had to give Haley a note to write down what uh what what I liked so then she would always write so I wrote down all the stuff I liked like what I liked like ACDC what my age was and then I had a little bit scruff on my face back then which I hate shaving so little hair because it cuts my skin open <coughs> I only use a three blade razor. Um, and then, so Brittany got more of a taste of who I was, like what my favorite colors were, what kind of music I liked, and other stuff, and what kind of stuff she likes, what kind of stuff I like. Then I called her, or then. I was a manager of a baseball team, so I was telling them what it was like. Or I, I, I was over. I was a manager of a baseball team, so Haley was there. She called Brittany and she said, "What's up?" And she said, "Is Brittany there?" And they said, "Thank you." And then she said, "What's up?" And then she started talking. And then she gave me the phone, and I started talking to Brittany. And, um, me and Brittany started talking and talking and talking. And then I said, you want a boyfriend? And she said, yeah. And I said, how bad? And she said, very bad. And I said, okay, you got one. And then I, t I told her that her voice makes my heart sk skip a beat. And I was just being charming like I usually am. <laughs> so what I, what I was doing was I was just using the flirt move I kind of pick up. Then I told Brittany that if I had a, f a rose for every time I thought of her, I'd be picking roses for a lifetime. And I said, if I had a rose for every time I thought of you, I'd be walking through my garden forever, which is my favorite pickup line of all time. Then one time I told her, you're so beautiful, you give the sun a reason to shine. Someone thought you, you make that sound like they're fat. That doesn't mean you're fat. It means, it means that your beauty gives the sun a reason to shine and I and then we were talking more often we would talk like um so me and her were talking back in 2010 but then unfortunately for one reason it didn't work out so we broke up 
we would have gotten back together, but at first it didn't work out. So I was single for 13 years at first, and then I got broken up with, and then I was single for... I was single for 13 years, then broken up, and then single for 3 years, and then single for 7 months, and then broken up with again. You know. I was broken up with, um, then I was single for 7 months, and I got broken up with, then I was single for a month. Then I was single for five months, then I got back with that other crazy, with the crazy girl I was dating, and then, and then I just left her because I didn't want to deal with that drama anymore, so I went back out with Brittany. So, Brittany and I have been together for almost six years now. That's six. With an S. So, some dates we went on. I took her... Excuse me. To Anthony's for a one year anniversary, and she had. Excuse me. A Hawaiian burger and peach lemonade. They said we have peach lemonade, and Brittany's like, ooh, peach lemonade. Yeah, she liked the sound of that. Brittany likes peaches. So I call her Peachy Snuggles because she loves peaches and she loves to snuggle. So, what I did was I took her out to the mo I took her to the mall after and we went shopping. I saw her, I picked up a love necklace and then I looked at her pick up that butterfly necklace and look at the price and then when she put it down she walked away after she looked at that and then I picked up the butterfly necklace and went and bought it because I saw her look at it and I thought it would look pretty around her neck and she loves necklaces. She also likes Hello Kitty. so. See? Hello Kitty necklace for her. <laughs> yeah. So, yeah, I did buy her a lot of stuff. I bought her, like, Jersey Shore necklaces, pictures. I bought her many amazing things in the... in the past. Oh... Uh, some other stuff I've bought in her over the years is, like, stuff like... I don't know. I bought her stuff like... What, what else have I bought in her? Because I bought her a lot of stuff. I bought her this movie, and I have my own original copy of it, too. <clears throat> for her birthday last year. Um, For her birthday in 2011, which was one of the other dates we went on besides that other one. was a yeah, I took her to get her nails done I took her out for lunch they had a free ice cream for her on her birthday but she can't eat it because Brittany's lactose intolerant and I don't want to make that same mistake please do not judge me I made a horrible horrible mistake if you're going to ask, what is a horrible mistake, Channing? I accidentally gave her chocolate. And she started spitting it out and I started to freak out. And I'm just going to say it was an accident. You know, people make mistakes and I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to make that really bad mistake. I've done it before, and I've done it more than once on accident. It was not purpose. You know, some people can't think before they do, and then I saw the label and said, oh no, and she started... If she has that stuff, she'll start itching. And then start spitting it out. Oh yeah, well, I'll definitely get her something better in the future. Um... I remember one time I took her to... I took her to the same place for our two year anniversary and our three years. 
Excuse me. <laughs> the first year was the best because I bought a lot of stuff. Bought her like Jersey Shore, The Big Bang Theory. You want to know something? One time Brittany and it, it in our two year anniversary was ready since 6.30 in the morning. Wow. She she had like a black dress on and I was all nice and nice in it. Um, then I bought her that big stuffed bear. <laughs> I came in with a little stuffed dog for her. And then I came in with this. Ooh, this is huge. This is a huge one. Then I bought her that which I named Cuddle, because he's so huge. And who wouldn't name a big giant bear Cuddle? Because he's huge. I asked her her friend if she knows these big bears at Costco, and she said, yeah, I want one so bad. And I told him not to tell Brittany that I bought, them, that I bought her this. And then I, I came in with the big, the little dog, and she said, and then I came in with the bear, and she said, wow, that's a big bear. I just picked one up, and one guy said he liked to put hats all over him. So I gave her that, and she enjoyed it. She really loved it. And I was actually happy that I bought her that. And then she bought me something, a, a little Bart Simpson thing. Which I think may have been knocked over because my TV's over there. And then, you know, I was actually very, very happy that I bought her that big bear because I thought she could use one. And then, you know, I bought her other stuff. Like, I bought her one like this. This was a really nice one. <laughs> yeah, I bought her this too. I bought her other stuff. This is what she named Snowball. And she said, you're cute. When she looked at her. When I handed it to her, she's like, you're cute. Um. Um, some other stuff I bought in her. Is like belly button rings. Like an owl one, an anchor one. I also bought her a B one that stands for Brittany. I've also bought her a Britney necklace. I bought her like inside out. I bought her I'm trying to think because I bought her a lot of th a lot of items and I'm actually happy about it. I bought her a lot of presents over the years. I'm trying to think what else I bought her. I bought her an Ariana Grande CD, Seahawk earrings, makeup, lip gloss. Lotion. For our anniversary last year was a Victoria's Secret hoodie. I it it was Victoria's Secret leggings. I gotta tell you, I bought the hoodie and the leggings first, but I bought her the, but I showed her the hoodie last because I saved the best for last. So here's what I did. I bought her leggings, sea, uh, a Seahawks mug, like for the drink, a Seahawks bumper sticker on accident. I thought it was something that you could post against the window, like one of those things. But then, no, it wasn't. So, I bought her many other th things. I bought her two kinds of perfume. Japanese Cherry Blossom, which is Bath and Body Works most popular. A peach one. And then I bought her a special... You know it. I bought her a little special Japanese Cherry Blossom lotion. And then a nice... Victoria's Secret hoodie. So I showed her everything, and she, 
uh, pretend, pretend like I'm filming, and she's like, that's it, that's it, that's it, and then I showed her the hoodie, and she went, ah! and she was so surprised, she was so excited that I bought her that hoodie, <laughs> I saved the best for last, I couldn't wait to see the expression on her face when she saw that hoodie, <laughs> yeah, that was a good time, um, something, um, some other stuff that I bought in her over the years is like, oh yeah, I bought her a pair of earrings. Sadly, the earrings broke. That sucked. I bought her a, um, a nice little, um, hoop earrings, but the hoop earrings broke. How does, I mean, where do you buy these things, America? I mean, it's not saying that America is bad. I just wish we had stuff that wouldn't break so easily. But, you know. You know, not everything lasts forever. Excuse me. Um, was there something else? The three year anniversary, I already had stuff here for her. That's the hard one. That's what I can't re really remember, even though. <gasps> Excuse me. I took her out for lunch. Excuse me. I got like crab cakes. Got her something at my favorite restaurant again. One time when we were trying something, she had teriyaki sauce with french fries. That was actually a really good idea teriyaki sauce with french fries one time she fed me a cupcake and I fed her a cupcake and then I grabbed an Asian papaya and Brittany's like babe did you just feed me some random fruit that was an Asian papaya uh she's Asian she's like did you just feed me some random fruit and I like fruit um she likes bananas just like I do I like Bananas, raspberries, strawberries, blackberries, marionberries, uh, cherries, raisins, craisins. I really like fruit. I only like Granny Smith apples. That's all I can think of for now. I mean, I've bought her a lot of stuff, and I'm never ashamed to spoil her. Last year for her birthday, I I gave her Inside Out, a few other things. I bought her... I, I don't know if you've ever heard of Honey Girls, but I was in... I was, I, I was Christmas shopping... And my sister said, Bill the Bear, when we went there. And I went, and I came in and asked them if they had any Tegans. And they're like, they're like, Tegan from Honey Girls? And I said, yeah. And then I forgot to put a scent in her to make her smell nice. But I stuffed it completely. They said, you, you might want to stuff it. And I said, how? Do I do it like this? And then I just stepped on the lever where they, where they had me stuff it. And then they wrapped it up completely so she'd be okay. Um, and then I named it Tegan. And then I put her in the display box. And I got the clothes for her perfectly. And then I hugged her when, when she was all stuffed and the lady smiled. The people at Build-A-Bear were very friendly. So it was going to be her Christmas present. But she asked me if I could delay the lotion. And so I dropped off the box with Tegan in there. And all the other stuff I got her for her birthday, like belly button rings and almost everything else. And uh, like a, a Stephen Hauschka jersey. I have a Russell Wilson and a Peyton Manning jersey. Um, I bought her a Stephen Hauschka jersey for her birthday and some other stuff. You know, I bought her too many stuff to name, too much stuff to name. Alright, well, anyway, stay up to date and subscribe. Thank you all for watching. Uh, stay tuned for some more videos. Alright, bye-bye. Peace out.